What's up YouTube followers? Decided to make a new video. I haven't made one in ages. It's been months. I can't even remember the last time. Um, it was definitely last year. So, what? Well, basically what I've been doing is eating plenty of food and just trying to gain as much strength, as much muscle as I could in the off season. Ready to make another appearance on stage this year. Eating some sweet potato at the minute. And this meal I'm eating is basically just standard sweet potato, uh, green beans, broccoli, and chicken with a little bit of jerk seasoning. Yep, it's boring. Uh, there's been there's been claims that it's bro foods, so it's more of a more of an old school clean approach than the. Uh, quite popular if it fits your macros approach and the reason I do it is because I am fitting my macros you know I'm hitting my target in macros but I'm doing it with clean healthy food sources um, food sources which are going to give me plenty of fiber uh, plenty of vitamin C and also a whole host of micronutrients as well as macronutrients <laughs> which is obviously important, not just for performance, but for health as well, which in the long run is going to have a, an effect on training and fat loss. So while, if, it's, if it fits your macros approach, it is a valid method and it does work because the main factor in fat loss and weight loss is calories, caloric intake. There's no there's no getting around that. To lose fat, you need to be in a deficit, a calorie deficit. So you can do that with just hitting macros and calories and not bothering too much about the food sources. But if the chances are, if you're eating majority uh, sort of junk foods, processed foods, that kind of thing, sort of refined sugars too often, chances are you're going to have uh, greater hunger spikes, um, you're going to have unstable insulin levels, poor digestion, and then not to mention the study that um, was released a couple of months ago, processed meats um, effectively causes cancer or is linked to cancer. So a whole host of reasons there why you'd want to at least eat the majority of clean food. If you want to chuck in the odd bit of junk and make it fit your macros, I guess, you know, the odd bit, it's not going to harm you. Um, but if you are if you are sacrificing a whole host of micronutrients and healthy fibre, particularly fibre, because that's going to matter with your digestion and stuff like that, then you are going to sell yourself short on your goals. Simple as that. <coughs> So uh, as far as as far as my training goes, I've started cutting now already, as you can see by the food I'm eating. And I'm looking to step on stage probably in August. Um, first show being the BMBF uh, Midlands in Birmingham, which is my uh, place of birth. I was born in Birmingham. Don't live there anymore, but I only live down the road. In Burton on Trent. Um, it would be nice for me to go back to my birth city, so to speak, and uh, compete in an arena and on a stage that I've not been to before. It's always fun. So, uh, yeah, that's me. And I'll, um, I'll try and keep those who were sort of interested enough to click on the, sus the subscribe button, I'll try and keep you sort of informed and posted on how my progress is going. At the moment, since uh, the beginning of January, I've come down from 87 kg uh, to 85 roughly now. So 2 kg lost in a, in six weeks. Nice and steady weight loss. I don't want to lose any muscle. Um, I did gain a fair bit of fat. Not as much as what I've done in previous years, I don't think. But I did sort of, I didn't reverse out of my diet very slowly i just sort of jumped into it up the calories like really fast gained weight really fast 
um, kind of weren't too bothered about that because I I wanted I knew that I'd be on stage again this year and I wanted to just gain as much as I could in terms of strength and muscle and I I was using a new sort of high carb approach that I hadn't used in previous years so I wanted to just see what I could do with that and see how much I could gain and I think I've gained I've made some nice gains I believe certainly in strength and visible size as well and I'm a bit leaner than what I was the last time I dieted so all's looking good at the end of the day it's personal progress all I can guarantee is that when I get on stage again it will be the best I've ever looked and as long as I do that then I'm doing something right and then anything else trophies whatever else it's a bonus not going to lie, I want to be at the British Finals this year. That's the next step for me, obviously. Missing out last year, coming third at a regional. Um, top two got the invites to the Britain. I was one place short, so with progress. Hopefully I can grab that gold envelope to the, uh, the British Finals this year. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that for now. That's a six minute video so I'll try and keep you updated and I'll try and talk about a few issues regarding fitness as well and if anyone's got any questions go ahead and ask and I'll do a video covering them alright thanks for watching over and out